This is the story of how I messed up my restart account in 5 days. But when I think about it, maybe I should say how my restart account got screwed in 5 days by a hidden update. Now for me to explain everything better, we need to start from the beginning. And this thing that happened to me can literally happen to anyone. So please pay attention, let's go. When I decided to start a restart project, the first thing I did of course was finding a suitable jumper project. And this one, the golden age, it was looking decent and also it didn't fit my starting time. I joined their discord, they were cool and all that, so everything was looking great. And there were still a couple of days for us to start our account, so we were just chilling. However, suddenly we got an update. If you go to your city, click on monuments, this is the bot awakens is the first ever challenge. And if you don't know when new kingdoms are created in the game, once the latest kingdom completes this, it says 12,000 governors enter the bronze age. Once this is done, after a couple of hours, a new kingdom will be created. However, this actually wasn't 12,000 governors. This was 20,000 governors, which takes way longer to complete compared to 12k, like almost double the amount. And because of that, kingdom creations were way less frequent. And this hidden and sudden change did cause a little bit of a panic. When this happened on January 22nd, our project shared this. Don't panic about the kingdom opening so quickly, there is nothing we can do about it. Council and the rest of the leadership is discussing what the best option for us is right now. We will have a starting kingdom soon, look in the announcements as we are going to start much sooner than anyone thought we would. So this 12k thing already caused us some trouble. But of course, this is just the beginning. Later on, the starting kingdom was decided and it was going to be 3413 and final kingdom was decided as 3420. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but for some reason, other than Sultan, all of the kingdom names are heroes from Call of Dragons, which is funny. And if you don't know, I have a separate channel for Call of Dragons only. Feel free to subscribe. Anyways, after we created our accounts in 3413, what I did was simple. Instead of following the sleeper route, I was going to follow the classic jumper route, which means every single building on my city has to be either level 7 or lower. And as you can tell from the levels of the buildings, they way past level 7, and that was because the second portion of that hidden update. For me to get every single building to level 7 and pretty much complete all the possible research, it only took me 2 days. And as a jumper, once you get all the buildings to 7 and complete every research, there are only 2 things that you can do, or maybe 3. You can farm resources, you can kill barbarians, you don't want to rally force because there's going to be a low hearts trial event and you want to use all your AP on barbarians so that you can get maximum amount of bone necklaces. So that is what I was doing. I was done with my buildings, I was done with my research and I was just killing barbarians and farming resources and clearing the folks so I can visit villages for extra rewards and also explore the caves. And of course in the same time we were also paying great attention to new kingdoms to decide approximately when our final kingdom which is 3420 Kingdom of Nika was going to be created. And what happened on day 5 was pretty devastating at least for my account and many others. On January 26 we got another announcement on Discord. As you might know now, monuments have sped up again. Now they only require 6k people to get to Bronze Age instead of 12k making them open twice as fast. This basically guarantees that the kingdom, our target kingdom, will open this Saturday. And as you can see the monument challenge from 20k it was down to 12k and now it's down to 6k. It literally halved again and basically doubled again the kingdom creation frequency. And unfortunately, I missed that announcement. But that's not important. Because luckily, when our target kingdom was created, I was already online in the game. However, I was in this region, Tumaco, I think around here. And since I wasn't expecting the kingdom to be open like that fast, I was just chilling farming resources and also clearing the fog. Then I got this message from our leader. Soon open, don't miss it please. And look at my message. Stupid scout at the other edge of the map, lol, on my way in two minutes. And he said, oh rip. And I was like, why? Like the kingdom just opened 20 minutes ago. And when my scout arrived from here all the way back to my city, I clicked on this, then I clicked on kingdom of Nika, and there it was. Entry of governors using a beginner's immigration, not yet capped. This means this freaking server, our target kingdom 3420, got filled so fast in around 15 minutes that now the kingdom is locked and no one can migrate there even with the beginner's immigration. You are literally 
not allowed to jump to this kingdom because there is a cap of how many players can immigrate with beginner's immigration to a new server and it was capped in like 15 minutes which was insane and because of that we got stuck in our starting kingdom 34 13 and it was so devastating i know what you could say you spot and then just do the sleeper route right it's bad it's really bad because let me explain if from day one sleeper was my plan i wouldn't just sit there and wait two whole days with a city hall and every other building level seven and only handful of technology upgrades i would just play it regularly like a sleeper account keep upgrading my buildings keep doing research and just play it as it is but i didn't because my goal was to be a jumper rather than a sleeper for this project and this cost me two whole days because i got stuck in this kingdom and i couldn't jump but on top of that what i had to do since the majority of our project was gone i had to click on alliance list and just randomly join to a low power alliance with very little activity because pretty much every single top alliance in this kingdom was already part of another jumper project which jumped to this kingdom as their final kingdom from another kingdom which means their power was super high compared to our power compared to my power and other people who just couldn't jump to our final kingdom and that's why as i said i had to join a random alliance with low activity and i simply wasted another full day in that alliance with literally very low amount of helps and of course no gifts at all and the main downside of not being in a top alliance in your starting kingdom if you are following the sleeper route if you're in a random alliance with low activity and people with low power you are not going to get any occupation rewards from like sanctums or altars etc so as you can tell it was quite devastating for me however quitting this account and starting a brand new one wasn't an option because i've already loaded up bunch of flux scripts in this account and this one alone is 300 dollars so yeah it wasn't an option and i of course just simply kept playing with this account with a broken heart and then in the middle of the night around 2 30 one of our viewers who was actually was in this kingdom and helping me killing barbarians a big shout out to ovingador and abi because he also helped me to get in the alliance sent me this message my alliance wants you and this alliance is a part of the jumper project who jumped to this kingdom as their final kd which was great news for me because finally i could be in an active alliance while i'm still in this kingdom and if you wonder what i'm going to do i'm going to stay here like a sleeper for 10 days and then i will migrate with my one passport to the final kingdom 3420 and while they're inviting me they knew that i was a sleeper and in 10 days I will be gone and after i spent some time in astral legion the leader of the project actually sent me a message and he said you can join top one i will accept you now and you can tp to region three and that is how i got into the top alliance in the kingdom eternal legion and this was actually massive for the account because gold chests are of course good but the main thing is it pretty much guarantees that we are going to get bunch of first occupation rewards which is going to help us our account greatly so this jumper project legends of eternity had exactly zero reasons to have me in their alliances because they knew after 10 days i will be gone look at the first message of the project leader go to see around i assume you missed the jump so they already knew the story and they still accepted me into their alliance so a massive shout out to legends of eternity project and itachi himself for being extremely kind and helping me saving this account hopefully we're not going to get kicked and we will stay in this alliance until our sleeper time is done of course we are going to be way behind compared to a regular sleeper because this wasn't our plan we were just sitting there for like two three days with level seven city hall and all other buildings and almost no technology it's bad but at this moment it is definitely not the end of the world i see you on the next video thank you for watching goodbye